What is shutter speed? Why we have the option to change shutter speed? What happens if I don't follow the rules of the shutter speed setup? And why does cameras have at all the shutter priority mode? If you want to know, stay with me and subscribe if you want to learn more. Through the fields of our past, feelings The first thing we need to do is to start with the formal definition of shutter speed. And shutter speed is the time. The time the sensor or the film is exposed to light. Each camera has a sensor or a film, and in front of the sensor a curtain or a door. Once I press the shutter, the door opens and closes and lets the light in during this time, it remains open. This time, the doors open and the sensor receives the light, is measured in time, and it can go from as much time as you want, 10, 20, 30 seconds or more even, to just a fraction of a second. For example, a 500th part of a second, as in modern cameras, to a 8,000th part of a second. And the shutter speed is one of the three pillars of perfect exposure photos. The main function of the shutter speed is to freeze the picture, especially when there is motion in the object we're taking the photo. As higher the shutter speed is, as better we can freeze a fast moving object. Let's see an example. Just imagine there is a car parked in front of your car. Close your eyes and open your eyes just for a second and close it again. You can see this parked car, perfect. You can see the color, the brand, even maybe who is driving the car. Now, make the same exercise looking in front of you and open for one second your eyes when the car is moving in front of you at whatever, 25 miles per hour. As you can see in this case, you can't clearly identify the car. And that is because the motion. Everything around us is in motion. In landscape, the water is in motion. The wind moves the trees and the leaves. The planes, when we shoot planes, are moving. So everything is in motion. And in photography, we have mainly two kinds of motion. The motion produced by the shaking of the camera from the photographer, meanwhile he's taking the picture, and second, the motion of the objects we're taking the picture. In the first case, we have several ways to avoid this. One of these is using a tripod, a monopod, trying to stay as quiet as possible, meanwhile we're taking the picture. The second weapon we have is the shutter speed. And there is a rule, that is, the shutter speed should at least twice the focal length. For example, if I'm using the 600 mm Sigma lens, I should use a shutter speed at least 1 over 1200 of seconds of shutter speed. In the second case, is to follow the object. The second is to increase the shutter speed in very high values. For example, 1 over 2000, 1 over 2500, or 1 over 40,000. If I change the shutter speed in the triangle of exposure, I have to change the aperture and the ISO. And in this case is why camera manufacturers developed the shutter priority mode. In the shutter priority mode, in the way you're changing the shutter speed, the camera will take the control and automatically change the aperture and the ISO to get the best exposure. In the manual mode, that's not so easy, because if I change the shutter speed, I need the time to change the aperture and the ISO to fix the exposure. And so is like shutter speed, has to be one of the most creative tools of a camera that modern photographers use. 
if we are shooting, for example, a car in a race, we can absolutely freeze the moment of the car using a high shutter speed. But maybe this picture don't have the motion or emotion we would like. And therefore, I will use a slower shutter speed to just freeze the car, but not freeze the background. The same happens when we're taking the picture of an airplane or a helicopter. We want to freeze the airplane, but not the propellers. When you want to shoot the Milky Way, I need an exposure time very long. For example, between 15 and 20 seconds. That gives me all the light from the Milky Way coming into the camera. So, and now that you know why you have the option to change shutter speed and why manufacturers of cameras made the shutter priority mode, go out and take the best pictures you can. If you find this video interesting and helpful, maybe you consider to subscribe and give it a like so others can see this video too and help them to improve his photographing skills. Now, go out and take your best pictures. I know you can. See you.